Alrighty guys, <clears throat> today I wanted to do a junk removal setup video. Kind of show you what I'm working with here, why I picked what I picked and how it works out. So first we'll start off with the trailer. This is a uh, 2022 low trail 6x12 10K dump trailer. It's got the max step on the side here so I can get in it. The fenders are fully welded. You can walk on them, which is really nice when you're getting up and tarping your load. got a uh, manual tarper it came with two foot sidewalls and so I built up the wood part above that another two feet and it's got the stake pockets so I've got three pressure treated boards on each side and then um, you know bolted those in one thing I still need to do is just kind of cut off these. I've never put my head on it because you really don't walk right next to it, but you could. So I'm gonna cut those off, grind them off. Um, I started with some orange signs. They were a little smaller. Uh, I upgraded to these so I could get my QR code on them, put the license down shirt on once I got that stuff going, and just kind of cleaned it up to make it simpler. Um, Battery, of course, is in here. You can lock it. Um, so that stays up. Check your charge right there. Never had an issue with it. Um, it works well. It's a manual crank front. The handle came off like two weeks in, so it's just the metal, but never had a problem with that either. Um, I keep a Fort Knox lock on it. Yeah, and that's pretty hard to break into, supposedly. You know, if you want, you can uh, break into anything, cut it off, you know, if you've got the right tools. But anyways, that's supposed to be a lot better than the Reese ones from Walmart or some of the other ones that are out there. Um, fortunately, I've never had a flat. These are on your standard tires, but uh, I do plan on upgrading to some 12 plies. I think these might be 10 flies. These are Trailer King RST. Let's see here, 235 8016s. Radial tubeless. Uh, what do we got here? 80 PSI cold, load range E max. So I'll have to look those up. All right, but fortunately I've never had a flat does have the spreader rear gate, which I've never used. These do stick out. They hold your D-rings on the door when you're tipping. Uh, let's see here, here's the inside of the trailer. So you kind of see how I built the sidewalls. I've got the pressure treated stake pockets going in. Um, the top one was an afterthought. I decided I wanted to go a little higher, which is why I put this extra one on. Otherwise I would have started with right side stakes but a little bit more wanted a little bit more capacity so you can see the tarper up there there's the rear door um, it's got ramps that are built in so if you want to drive a piece of equipment up that's what these are for the one thing i will say uh, this is not optimal for junk removal because it's got those welded d-rings in on each corner and junk does get stuck on them the reason I haven't taken them out uh, is that I may get some equipment one day that I want to tie down, like a little mini excavator stand on MT100 Bobcat or something like that. So I'm leaving those for now. Uh, this is the other side, pretty much identical. It's got a spare tire. Uh, put a lock on that so that doesn't get stolen. Uh, the nice thing, guys, I keep this inside my garage. It fits perfectly, and I can shut the door. And so I keep it in here at night um, so people don't see it. Hard to get stolen. stays out of the sun and all that. So it stays pretty nice, and then I can charge it right there. And I've got a power source right there, so I just run a single extension cord, and then it charges, trickle charges the battery right here. So that's worked out pretty well for me. Um, the other thing I keep, 
few of my tools over here. So I've got a hand cart, a couple of small piano dollies from Harbor Freight. I've got some extra cones, the blower. Um, I carry rakes and shovel and um, a dustpan. One thing I do need to get is some larger buckets and containers. I've got that blue one down there, uh, but I need to get some other stuff to uh, just hand load um, when I've got piles of loose junk. So that's kind of the trailer setup. Moving on over to the truck. This is a 2017 Toyota Tundra TRD four wheel drive SR5 with the 5.7 V8. It's the truck I had, it's the truck I own, it's paid off. So it's the truck I'm keeping for now. Um, it's got 104,000 miles, runs great. Only time I've been stranded is when I've had a dead battery. So not really the truck's fault, batteries die. A few things I've done to this truck to make it better for towing. Um, I'll show you in more detail, but obviously the soft topper, that doesn't do anything for towing. I have that for my dog. I can put the sides down, but then I can't see because there's no windows here. So I keep them up. It's just a lot easier to back a trailer in. Fire extinguisher, always a good idea to have that. This is my dog crate. I built this orange top on it so I can keep my eyes jazzed and keep things secure. I bought this deck system used off of my best friend. He had a Tundra, he was selling it. He didn't need it anymore. So he sold it to me for $400. I love it because um, you can pull both sides out. It keeps all of my tools in there, my ratchet straps. Um, you know, batteries, got all sorts of stuff in here. So that's that side. Um, the nice thing is it stays out of, out of sight. Um, and it'd be kind of hard to break into. Crowbars, extra saws, towing stuff, vest, hard hat, hammers and stuff in there. Um, I do like the deck system, but they are expensive. I don't think I'd spend the money new on it. It's got four storage bays one in each corner, call them little ammo cans. So that thing is pretty sweet. I do like it. I don't know if I'd spend 1200 on it. Um, the newer 2014 Tundras up come with a seven pin and a, I think it's a four pin built right into the bumper, which is nice. This is a 10K uh, hitch. A couple other things I've done. Added some reflectors on there just for people seeing it at night. Um, the biggest towing upgrade I would say that I did is I added these Hellwig Atta Leafs. That's what this is here. I installed them myself. They were actually super easy. They just go under the, or actually over the leaf pack and then they bolt on. Um, it's pretty easy to install. Somebody before I bought this truck had already put, I think these are sumo springs on, which are just kind of a cushion bump stop. Um, the sumo springs is when you're fully loaded. Sorry guys, I'll pause the video here. I got trash coming. Uh, so as I said, the sumo springs were already on there. The Atta Leaf did add about at least a half an inch, maybe three quarters of an inch back here when you're unloaded. The nice thing is when we're fully loaded with the trailer, it helps to reduce the squat, um, just keeps the truck a little more level and towing, it just feels more secure because you've got almost like a three quarter ton leaf pack back there now. Um, it's a progressive leaf system, I believe. So as you load more weight, it becomes stiffer and you can't adjust it. Although I've never adjusted it since I've installed it. Um, the tires that I run are these Cooper 275 70R18s. Um, they're a higher load range, I want to say. They're a load range E. Um, I think the standard ones that come on here are 65 PSI. These are 80. These are oversized. Pretty good tread there. Pretty new. Um, no leaf or no lift up front. I've never had a flat with these Coopers and they fit with no rubbing. Um, so that's nice. I got these, these are a little six by 18 or something, six by 12, I want to say actually, off of uh, Vista Print. I would get bigger ones though in the future. Might wrap the truck in the future if I do this full time. Inside, nothing crazy going on. I do have a dash cam by Rove, it's 4K. Caught an accident on it already, um, actually just this week.
couple switches you'll see here. Hit that one and hit this one. And I've got some auxiliary lights. Um, that is just what I use when I'm pulling up. So that's the front. It's got seven flash patterns. Got these off Amazon. Um, and then in the back, uh, this one is another strobe that I use when I'm backing the trailer up to somebody's side from pulled over on the side of the road for some reason. Uh, it'd be nice to get one on the roof, something that was a little more visible from all angles, especially when you've got the trailer behind. But for now, this does work. I do like the look of it, and it just is, it alerts people that you're kind of doing something else, watch out. Uh, let's see, the last upgrade I've really done is tow mirrors. Um, these are great from the standpoint of, if I can pull it out, they're a little sticky. Um, so you can see you get a lot more mirror, there's more mirror space. Uh, you get the bubble, well I added that actually, and then you get an integrated turn signal and or running light. Um, so I did install these, that was pretty easy as well. So when I'm towing, with this trailer, it, with it being a 6x12, it's not that big, uh, but I've got a 23 foot travel trailer that I tow, which is wider, it's harder to see around. So. Tow mirrors come in really handy for that. It is a nice upgrade though for any kind of towing you're doing. We've got the Tundra, and I'll link all this equipment um, of what, what I bought down below. So anyhow, um, that's my setup pretty much. It works real good. The truck, like I said, it's paid off. Otherwise I'd probably get a, a diesel. Um, I don't need it though. And diesels can you know be more maintenance and just they cost a lot more. So for now, this is the truck we're using and I'm very, very happy with the setup.